Hi friends, good evening. Uh, today it is uh, 19th uh, April 2022 and the time is uh, 8 p.m. Uh, there was a sudden fall in the market. Uh, you know, uh, the time around uh, 2, 2.20, I believe. And uh, uh, we are able to predict the, the bottom of the market uh, in the morning as well as the top and our timing rocked. And uh, let's go to uh, our PPT and uh, we'll see what all we discussed today on the market live hours and how the market reacted to our numbers as well as to the timings. Okay, so now let's first go to this PPT. Okay, so yesterday I mentioned doji formation on an important date. Any Anything break below yesterday's low that is 18th low you will see minimum 250 points in nifty and 750 points in bank nifty that is what we, we discussed yesterday and this was the timing uh, for today 9 15 am to 10 15 am of nifty of nifty not bank nifty of nifty of 19th april is the key so today Nifty is not able to break above 10 15 a.m. The, the first one hour candle I. And once it broke the one hour candle low, you have seen a fall of roughly around 300 points in a flash. I don't know what is the news and all that, but according to us, 9 15 a.m. to 10 15 a.m. is the key that one hour candle for tomorrow. Bank Nifty 9 15 to 11 15 a.m. two hour candle. So watch this two hour candle tomorrow okay and this is what we discussed right and if you go uh okay anyway i'll come to this ppt later let's go and check what we discussed on the market hours today uh let's go to the whatsapp okay so this is the first uh before market opens uh i mentioned that after the big move in bel and ntpc which was our recommendation my focus shifted to Andhra Petro, NCC, NLC, NHPC for 20% move from here. NLC today roughly did 12% today, but after the market crashes, you know, everything, everything crashed. But still, you know, uh, we are still holding NLC. Uh, these four companies is in my radar uh, for the coming days. Okay. And now the 907 number is this. This one rocked today. Rock. I will I will show in my graph. 17,292 is buy, sell is 17,239. So mark these two numbers, I will talk to you, okay? Uh, I will explain you. And Ichimoku shorter time frame is 10, 10, 10 to 10.20. And I gave this timing before the market opened at 9.13, at 9.13, okay? And our Excel sheet number morning, uh, it gave a buy, you know, stop loss it, it gave a sell, stop loss it, it gave a buy, stop loss it. And once it broke the third time, uh, it gave all the target and it went more about that also. Today, no, it actually dropped. Today, it actually dropped. And we went long in gale at 169 and 172. Uh, our stop loss is 165 on a one hour closing basis. Uh, today, it did well, but after the crash, you know, it came and closed at 169 only. Okay, so now, are we able to predict the top? Okay, so. This was the timing. Make or break at 2 to 225 to 230 candle. And I gave this timing at 1 and 154 to my followers. Watch this candle, 225 to 230 candle, which will be make or break for the market. Okay. So now let's go and watch all this in a live market. It's not a live market. Anyway, it's a post-mortem, but we will see what all happened today. Okay. So now uh this was our buy number 907 number 17272 and the sell number is 17239 okay morning market opened there only not able to cross the buy line came down 100 points given went up again came down and again went up but not touched my stop loss which is 17272 and the timing was here. This was the second timing. This was the second timing, which is 220 to 225 candle. Okay, uh, uh, 225 to 230 candle. 
once it broke this one second 225 to 230 candle correct uh, once it broke this candle low you have seen a fall like this okay and morning timing so morning we we decided this was the timing and the timing is here 10 20 10 10 to 10 20 this was the low and after that it went up again came down respected this 10 20 low again went up and once this the final make or break candle happened it broke everything and then it went for us flash uh, this is how the timing works so we rocked on the timing as well as the 907 number which normally i gives before the market opens i can even call it as a james bond number it is not 907 number it is 007 number it is working like mad because the stop loss is only 33 points only 33 points some days you no know, the stop loss get hit but it gives a massive uh, return uh, 100 points it's a cake walk in this strategy okay and i give this before the market opens that's why i say don't watch see you know sgx dow jones and other stuff so anyway our timing rocked our number rocked okay so this is on the market hour okay so now let's go to ppt uh, today this was the final target of our bank nifty which is a very very important number i am not talking about this number now i am talking about this number for more than two years okay this number is valid even for even 100 years from now 35937 if you go back and see my ppt you will see this number anytime and every time so 35937 is our last target for the week of bank nifty but it happened today itself that is on tuesday itself exactly it came touched that number and bounced back exactly came touched that number and bounced back and this was our last target for the week 35937 but bank nifty it closed below our weekly game changer bearish number and uh, nifty held our bearish number but anyway you know it was average closing so both bank nifty and nifty closed below the weekly game changer number so this is not looking good as of now but only one thing in bank nifty is it held a very important number 35937 always remember this 35937 to 35721 this two number is a reversal number on the downside it will try to you know take a support from here you can put this two number in in your graph and see how it worked in the past you can just apply this two number and see how it worked in the past you can take even one year two year duration also but see how this number works okay and uh, on the upper side 39204 to 39304 will act as a major major resistance you can up take these two numbers just open a you know bank nifty spot put this number in your graph and see how market respected these two numbers on the top 39204 to 39304 and on the bottom side 39 35937 to 35721 here we don't need any graph just number will speak your RSI, your MACD, your stochastics, all will combine, will come and sit in this number. Okay, that is all postmortem. This one is life. You can use this number even next for even 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the line. That's how the number works. So, uh, you, know, if it, it, how, you know, it's how it works. Anyway, uh, this green color line was the pitch for third support line. Break below this possibility that it will go and touch this line also but as of now it held this number so this held this number as well as it closed above this line and these three are very crucial lines so anyway it is holding it but looking weak now tomorrow is the big big day for nifty which is again uh, even though 18 and 19th was a big day. I was expecting that Nifty and Bank Nifty should close within yesterday's high and low. Uh, but sudden fall, you know, it crashed everything. Now the stop loss 
you know, uh, 18th and 19th high and low is big now. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Again, 15 minutes high and low for today. Tomorrow, it will work as a magic. So 35,937. And if you go to Nifty, this was our last target. That 16,890. Uh, uh, this was our weekly bearish number. It closed to below that. It closed to below that. But the average, you know, it gives something else. So I don't care about the average. But anyway, it closed to below the weekly number. 16,890, right? So now it has to break this number because today also is very, very important. So now we need to take this low as into consideration. You can mark all this in your system. You can mark all this in your system, 16,869, 829. And you can simply mark like this. Like, uh, you know, April 19th low, all trend change date low, I used to mark like this so that it will be useful for me in future for my references. So it will be here. So now it has to break this level for tomorrow. Break this level, straight away it will go to 16,641 and 16,573. <laughs> So let's watch how, how what is going to do tomorrow and uh, let's go to PPT and we will discuss this. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so now we're here. So now all has become bearish. All the future number has become bearish. And even for bank of T, even for bank of T, it is close to below this level. Okay, so all become bearish. And if you go and see our weekly number, this was our weekly last target because this is weekly number. This won't change every day. Okay, this won't change every day. So this was our last target, 35,937. Once it breaks, 37,260. But it has not given a sell, uh, you know, because of the gap down yesterday. But it came and touched our last target, which is 37,937. So this was our weekly target for the last. Let's see whether the market is going to bounce back from here, uh, you know, uh, to uh, to upside uh, move. Uh, we don't know all that. But if it breaks again today's low, again more pain will be there. And if you go to Bank Nifty, this was our last target, 16,940. Even this was done today. But the problem is it has not given a initiation of sale initiation 17,409 on a weekly number because yesterday was a gap down. But based on the daily numbers, we are able to capture the fall yesterday as well as today. So both the weekly targets number done. So now it has to break below today's low for more pain. As of now, it closed, it closed below these numbers. Okay, so watch out. It is bearish because it is close to below all these numbers, and here also it close to below all these numbers. So even monthly as well as weekly market close to below the bearish numbers. So be very very careful on the longs. Now any upside will be sold, uh, you know, on the IR side. So watch out uh, for this. And tomorrow, if you see, uh, Nifty has already done two fifty points on the downside. Once it broke yesterday's low, and Bank Nifty has done almost six hundred points. Uh, another one fifty point is pending. So now April twentieth is the mega combination of cause and effect rule. Uh, people, uh, those who are my followers in my Telegram channel as well as my subscribers, know what is this cause and effect rule. So now. Tomorrow is cause and effect rule is going to happen. The first 15 minutes high and low will do the magic. So now I've already, whatever I mentioned now, 35,937 to 35,921, 721 is a price reversal zone. PRZ, uh, I mentioned for you, it's zones. So there will be a reversal on, uh, you know, in case if it goes and touch this number, possibility in case if it else this number, 35,721. Uh, possibility of reversal from here, but even now this has held this number. So possibility it may take a reversal, but breaks below today's low again another 250 points in Nifty. 
and again 750 points in bank nifty right so tomorrow a simple thing no need to talk about numbers first 15 minutes high and low will do the magic because all these three dates are combination dates 18 19 and 20 14th was april so 14th also combined with 18th so now as of now market close to below first of all 18th low which is weakness second today's high and low is very crucial and tomorrow it is cause and effect day so watch out so this is what i mentioned here c and d so cause and effect day so watch out we will we will uh, after tomorrow we will mark the high and low of 18 19 20 and we will derive the number from there we will uh, you know uh, take it forward for the next day which is 29th april 29th april okay so now tomorrow what we need to watch first 15 minutes high and low we need to watch number one number two bank nifty this two hour candle we need to watch for tomorrow watch out for this and today this one rocked really rocked okay and uh, yeah gail we already entered today but it is unable to close above 172 it went up to 173.50 but we are long our stop loss is 165 on one hour closing basis i have already informed here uh, ifl 385 is done from 292 so solid 100 100 rupees done tvs motor uh, the stop loss is 630 it is still holding it i think it came down to 3 and 635 our grassing stop loss got hit today it closed to below 17023 so our stop loss got hit today but still this is looking good only but based on uh, swing trading the stop loss got hit and uh, here you know even this guy did very well today it up by it was up by roughly around six percent but because of the market fall you know it fell badly and this one buy not initiated because it has to close about 1930 today the high was 1926 so watch out for this guy something big will happen and as I already uh, mentioned, my radar is NHPC, NLC, and uh, one more. Okay, so no, we'll, we, I will update this and send it to my followers. So now, uh, tomorrow, watch out for these guys. Asian motor, Tata motors, and God race properties. So these are having their trend change rates tomorrow. Bajaj Auto. So auto is something happening because last no no lot of auto companies are combined uh, together for TCD. So something is going to happen. Let's watch what is that. But my eye is on this guy, Tata Motors, for tomorrow. First 15 minutes high and low. Apply the thumb rule. Okay. Apply the thumb rule. And uh, this one already, you know, uh, close to below yesterday's low in fee as well as, uh, you know, Nifty IT. So we need to watch out. Simply watch 26th April high and low. This will be the major, major game changer. I will try to do a video on all uh, IT stocks, uh, you know, by this weekend. Okay. So now coming to, so I think I have not updated this. Anyway, I'll update that soon. But now. Uh, intraday game changer number and positional game changer number now all become resistance. So all in red in Nifty and even in Bank Nifty. But only one number is holding, which is 35937 in Nifty spot. So I will try to update this. I forgot to update. Anyway, I'll try to update this and I'll send it to my followers for tomorrow. And I will try to post it in my social media also. So now uh, one one share I want to talk about. Be very happy to see this was my uh, trading system uh, this is 15 minutes uh, you know uh, from once it gave a 15 minutes you know from 17,261 you know it went roughly around the stop loss got it at 17,823 from now 17,823 till now there is no buy in 15 minutes it is all in sale just you need to keep cool and and see whether there is any genuine buy is happening in 15 minutes so till that time you can simply enjoy it's already given 1000 points from 17823 to 16948 so let's watch because tomorrow only in case if it gives a buy on 15 minutes it's going to be a genuine buy otherwise it is not so now this company everyone favorite but i don't like this guy um, i want this guy to be at least 
uh, HDFC bank to touch at least 900 rupees. Let the fund managers feel the pressure you know, of using these two companies as a scapegoat uh, in all these years. So now, one thing which we need to observe now is on a weekly front, on a weekly front, this day gave a sell today. Right? If you go back, it gave a long year. It became genuine long, 25639. And uh, from there, it went to 3000 level. But now, again, it came and gave a sell. So what is the thumb rule here? Next week, we have another three more days. We have another three more days in this week. We need to see whether it is giving a sell on the overall week. If the sell initiated, if the sell is intact for the old week, then we need to see whether the next week candle is closing below this candle. Then only it is genuine sell. Otherwise, it is not a genuine sell as per my system. As I already explained in my Nifty video, it has given a fake buy at 18,114. And from there, we have already seen roughly around 1,200 points fall. The same rule applicable on the sell side also. So now it has given a sell. We need to see, we have another three more days in HDFC. Once the sell is initiated, once a sell symbol is here, we need to see whether the next week candle is closing below this sell initiation candle. Anyway, I'll try to do the video on HDFC, on HDFC Bank on this coming weekend. And let's go to HDFC Bank on weekly. It is exactly sitting at my system design. And if you see, uh, it has given a buy year. Normally, it won't give up that easily this number. But I'll be very happy to see again around 900. Yeah, maybe if it comes to this level, I'll be very happy to pick this guy. But anyway, as of now, uh, HDFC Bank has not given uh, you know this weekly uh, red line. Uh, let's see what happens here. I will try to cover these two guys because as of now, I don't see any major date is coming in HDFC Bank and HDFC. I will try to uh, post uh, uh, you know uh, video in case if I get the dates. Uh, the dates as of now was here. This was a combination date, which was 3rd Jan and 4th Jan. This is for HDFC Bank and it collapsed from there. So now HDFC, if you see the date, the date was here, which was 23rd March and it has closed to below that number. So, and uh, this was uh, my major, major number 2159. 2159, it closed to below that number. This was the long-term number for HDFC limited it closed below that number let's see what happens in the next three days time so thanks for watching this video i will try to update the daily numbers and send it to you uh again saying i'm not a severe registered investment advisor so kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any call on any financial instrument so thanks a lot our number system everything rocked today let's see what happens on bank nifty for the first two hours candle See you soon tomorrow. Bye. Good night.